你可能看过训练小狗上厕所的，但你是否听过训练牛上厕所呢？为了减少动物随意排泄对环境造成的危害，德国农场动物生物学研究所科学家进行了训练奶牛上厕所的实验。如果它们能够抑制便秘的冲动，到特定的厕所方便，就会获得甜甜的糖浆以资鼓励；如果随处方便的话，则会被泼冷水作为惩罚。最后参与实验的十六头小牛，有十一头小牛学会了定点上厕所。动物行为学专家马修说，训练过程是意料之外的顺利。表现甚至比儿童还要好。The thing that's really、uh, surprising here is how quickly the cows learn relative to children. So,、um, with very, very intensive training, some children can learn in a in a, in a matter of、um, of a day or so.、Um, but most children, as you'll be aware, take、uh, quite some time and some days, weeks, or months. So we we only had 15 training sessions with these animals, and and we had about yeah on average 20 25 urinations, and they were fully trained. 马修说，奶牛尿很多，一头母牛每天可以排出大约八加仑的尿液。在室内，当尿液和粪便混合，便会产生引起酸与的胺；而在露天的环境，牛尿将导致另外一个环境问题。When you have、um, Animals outdoors, so the the urea can get converted into nitrates in the soil, and then go and pollute the waterways, cause、uh, all sorts of problems in the waterways, and and also if the nitrate concentrations are too high, you get blue babies and all that sort of. Thing. So、um, that's the direct nitrate problem from the in the soil, and then the nitrates get converted to nitrous oxide, which is 300 times more potent than、um, than carbon dioxide. 马修说：“这项实验表明，奶牛非常聪明，而且证明了训练动物如厕是可行的。或许哪天你有内急跑到公厕，才发现到门口排着长长的牛羊和你抢厕所。”